Hello there, and welcome to Ipswich in Suffolk for the filming locations of the market scene and the hearse scene from the Frog's Legacy. So he moves about a bit, but when he's doing his sales pitch, Dell would be stood somewhere around here. How do we know? Very helpfully, there's a clue. Now we'll go in for a closer look and we can see these black marks on the bricks. They are there in the episode. Uh, you see a line of three and then below them they kind of uh, step down individually to the left. And we do catch a very quick glimpse of the one above to the left which is just next to this um, pole or pipe. And we do see this door on a few occasions in the episode and it's an old fashioned yellow door. The corner of this left hand side has changed dramatically. We do get a glimpse of it in the episode uh, and there's a door right on the corner and it's more rounded but um, present day it's all been squared off. Let's spin round and there are a few markers over here that we can home in on during the episode including this little uh, extension thing which was there at the time and then we've got the gap and then we've got the, the side of the uh, terrace where it begins again. We see this door on a few occasions, uh, especially when Trigger's talking to Dell. And we also see this window when some of the extras are laughing at Dell's sales pitch. When Dell's talking to Albert, we see this house in the background with the electricity box underneath the window. Into the main road where the hearse action occurs. Now the hearse... It's first seen right at the start of this road because you can see across the road into Stoke Hall Road and in the background you see a large white building and the houses to the right hand side. We can see a new shrub has been planted in this garden since filming took place which has taken off very well. The door that was yellow in the episode is yellow now still. We can see the Vera Duckworth style cladding on this house which makes it nice and easy to pinpoint the exact location. And we also see it again through the window of this dump truck. To wrap this up now, it was great being here. This really is a terrific episode. Uh, to quote Dell's description of Denzel in the Jolly Boys outing, it's one of the best, one of the very best. Every time I finish watching this episode, I want to know what happens immediately after. It really draws you in. And thankfully, we did get some more of the tale in later years with the uh, Freddie Robdoll being Rodney's father. And of course, we got the outstanding Rock and Chips. And one can only imagine how hilarious a scene could have been with Freddie Robdoll sitting on the detonator. Thanks for joining me.